Mm. Yeah, so then the last thing under movies, the Steamboat Willie version of Mickey Mouse is now finally in the public domain. Like of, Winnie the Pooh. As of January 1st, which, for those of you who don't know, by the way, January 1st is known as public domain day, because that's like the calendar date that everything that's going to go into the public domain for that year goes into the public domain. It's not based on the date, it's based on the year. And they just release it all, like because like, I think it's last year was the final bits of uh, Sherlock Holmes that were actually written by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle as far as the U.S. is concerned. And so now you're basically free and clear to make any Sherlock Holmes stuff because anything after that wasn't made by him, and so you don't have to worry about that. You know, I mean, it's still, it might have its own copyright, but um, you don't have to worry about that as far as the, the uh, Conan Doyle estate coming after you. So yeah, but the only thing is, is it's the gloveless Mickey with the sun. yeah yeah it has to specifically be how he appears in Steamboat Willie and I think his name is Steamboat Willie in that too I don't know if you can actually call it Mickey but but so could be wrong on that if anyone knows let me know in the comments so just like they did with Winnie the Pooh they're already making a horror movie yes they are already making not I think two horror movies already. Two different horror games in development. Well, I've already seen artists now. Just oh, I've seen lots and lots of memes already. So a lot, a lot of, of memes. We need to get a, We need to get a halfway decent artist and hire him. We're going to launch our own comic. Steamboat Steamboat Willie goes to the Forgotten Realms or something. <laughs> I can get you one. We'll have to get Ed Greenwood to sign off on that though. But maybe I think he will. Seems like a cool guy. Which that's great. Uh, Apparently, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey actually did well enough it's getting a sequel, by the way. I never did watch it. <laughs> you really should. Yeah, yeah, probably. It, it, it is a glorious movie. But yeah, it's supposed to be getting a sequel. Uh, they already have, like, photos of the other, other uh, residents that they're going to have for it. Oh, yeah. I think it's Owl's going to be in it. Yeah. Well, I know uh, Superman comes up here, like, really soon. Ooh. Now, it'll be, like, original versions. Like, the ass looks different and everything. And you won't have most of his rogues gallery because they came a lot later. But you actually want to be able to use Krypton Hikes. That's from the radio drama. And I know that's not the same year that the first comic came out. Yeah, the radio folks thought he was too invincible. They had to create a weakness for him. And then the comic writers finally caught on, like, hey, that's, you know, not bad. So, yeah, that's about all I got for movies. You guys got anything else? Um, go around the horn, There's anybody? Streaming. Uh, mm -hmm. what, you want to, what you want to talk about? I say, any movies that anybody has watched uh, as of recent they want to talk about? Owen, have you seen any movies? Mm. Can't say that I have. And so I haven't been watching a lot of movies. I've been streaming a lot of other stuff. But... I mean, yeah, I've been streaming Deep Space Nine, so I haven't been into the movies yet. Finally, to season three, but we'll talk about that. Finally, later. watched Guy Ritchie's The Covenant. Jake Gyllenhaal in Afghanistan. Oh, yeah, how was that? It is a very, very good movie. Now, is it like, I'm assuming, given that from all outward appearances, it's a serious subject matter. Yes. I'm assuming it doesn't have the usual Guy Ritchie-isms in it. Notably, everyone's not British, I can already tell that. But No, actually, most of them, it seems they actually get ethnically correct people in the movie. Yeah, well, I meant more like, uh, no. No, they don't speak like British people or well, anything I know, like I, that. I know that. I know they're not using cockney, rhymy slang from London streets, but... Uh, Anybody like, get called a wanker? <laughs> no. Yeah, you know, there's there's like certain uh, certain like film things he does, and I'm trying to think of an example here, but I'm um, I'm falling short on this one. So yeah, I can't be like like Zack Snyder, where we know we're gonna have the epic slow motion, Sam Raimi, where we're gonna have the extreme close up a couple times. Mm -hmm. You know, he he's got something to his movies, and I can't think what it is off the top of my head, but I'm assuming we don't see that here. So no, it it see it's. A more serious film. It, there's, it's a very good film. Reminds me of the one Uwe Boll movie that wasn't based on a video game. It was actually an okay movie. 
tunnel rats, tunnel fighting in Vietnam. I need to watch this movie. Yeah, it's actually not bad. Like, like he, he proved he could actually make an okay movie. Like, it's not a great movie, but it's way better than all of his video game movies. Including Postal? I never watched Postal, so I can't, I can't say on that one. But after watching Return of the King... <coughs> yeah... Yeah, that movie was something I'm else. still I'm still somewhat upset I didn't get to see it in a theater. I have actually seen at least one of his movies in a theater. Uh, Blood Rain? No, the uh, the zombie movie. Yeah, I can't think of the name of it. Don't worry about it. It's not it's not worth your time, guys. It's a terrible movie. There's literally a moment where, char- where a group of characters has to cross what can't be more than 50 feet, and they go through three songs on the soundtrack, like, I think, beginning to end, because of how much slow motion is incorporated into that. House of the Far Dead. Cry? House of the Dead. That's what I'm thinking of. Uh, not to be confused with House of the Dead 2, which was like a straight-to-sci-fi channel movie, which, even though it had a much lower budget, was almost a better movie. Yeah. They should make a movie based off typing of the dead. Which what? Is a, it's House of the Dead, but instead of using like a light gun, you have to type out words above the zombie's head. Yep. Wow. Okay. I don't think we need to do a video on at some point. He's not wrong about that. <laughs> no, I, I trust him on this one. <laughs> yeah, so even the characters in the game like have like their weapons are they have like a typewriter in front of them, and then they have a Dreamcast on their back. <laughs> Am I Ron Owen? Oh my god. He's uh, he's completely right. Oh my god. <laughs> well, anyone else see any movies? No. Now we're we on to on to the next topic. Thank you for watching. This has been a Geek Ball video, Echoes of a Whisper. This has been a clip from one of our podcasts. Uh, The link to the actual podcast this is from is in the description of the video if you want to see the entire thing, which we obviously encourage you to do. But otherwise, if you enjoyed what you saw, you know, a thumbs up is always appreciated. Subscriptions and all the rest is definitely appreciated. Uh, Comments, as always. But uh, just in general, thank you for watching. Hope you liked it. And uh, check out the other videos we have here on the channel. See you later.